Okay guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the angle theta and phi made between the axis OA of the flake pole and AB and AC respectively of each cable. So we have to find this angle theta and this angle phi. So as we can see that the angle is made between this OA pole right and the angle uh, by this tension in the cable AB and this tension in the cable AC which is represented by FB and FC respectively. So now we can write that the if we, if we define a position vector from uh, A to O the angle is always determined between the tails of the vectors right. So this is the tail of this AO vector right since it is given that we want to find the angle between the axis OA but the angles are we need to define our position vector such that the angle is made between the uh, tails of both the vectors right. So this angle theta is made between the position vector from A to O and the, and between the FB vector right. So let me write that uh, if you want to find angle theta then that will be equal to FB vector and the dark product with the position vector from A to O and that will be equal to the FB magnitude or, or instead of FB we can write that the position vector let me write that the position vector from A to B. So then that will be the position vector from A to B magnitude and the position vector from A to O magnitude cos of theta or from this we can write that cos of theta will be equal to the position vector from A to B dot product with the position vector from A to O divided by the magnitude of position vector from A to B and the magnitude of the position vector from A to O. So that will give us cos of theta and if we take cos inverse that will give us that angle theta and similarly for angle phi we can write that cos of phi will be equal to the position vector from A to C the position vector from A to C and the dot part with the position vector from A to O divided by the magnitude of the position vector from A to C multiplied by the magnitude of the position vector from A to O. So we have to find the position vector from A to B, the position vector from A to O and the position vector from A to C. So first of all if I write the position vector from A to B. So to find the position vector from A to B we have to move we have to reach that point B from A while moving along the x, y and z axis respectively. So to reach that point B from A we need to move uh, 3 meters distance in the negative z direction. So I will write minus 3 k negative z is minus k and then we need to move 4 meters distance in the negative j that is minus 4 j and then we need to move 6 meters distance in the positive k direction. So we will reach here so that is plus 6 k and then we will move this much distance which is 1.5 meters in the positive i direction. So I will write plus 1.5 i. So we can add both of, both of these minus 3 k plus 6 k so this will give us plus 3 k. So this is plus 3 k. So this is the position vector from A to B and now its magnitude the, the, the magnitude of the position vector from A to B will be 1.5 square plus minus 4 square plus 3 square. So this will give us its magnitude that is 1.5 square plus minus 4 or plus 4 square will remain the same so that is 16 let me 4 square is 16 and 3 square is 9. So that is 5.220 so this is 5.220 meters and now the position vector from A to C let me write the position vector from A to C. So now from A we need to reach that point C. So again from A we need to move 3 meters distance in the negative z so I will write minus 3 k. Then from here we need to move 4 meters distance in the negative z. So my, uh, 
in the negative j so this is minus 4j and then from here we need to move we need to move until this much distance that is 4 meters in the positive z direction so that is plus 4 k and then we need to move 2 meters distance in the negative x so I will write minus 2i so minus 3k plus 4k so this will become plus k so that is plus k and now the, the magnitude of the position vector from a to c that is minus 2 square plus minus 4 square plus 1 square and then we will take the square root so this gives us minus 2 square is 4 plus 16 plus 1 so this is square root 21 or we can say that this is 4.583 so let me write it as square root 21 now the position vector from a to o so the position vector from a to o so again we need to reach that point o from a so we need to move 3 meters distance in the negative z so i will write minus 3k and then from here we need to move 4 meters in the negative j direction so i will write minus 4 j and now its magnitude r a o that is minus 4 square plus minus 3 square under the square root so this is under the square root minus 4 square is 16 and minus 3 square is 9 so that is 5 so this is 5 now we can use both of these equations let's say this is equation 1 this is equation 2 so now using equation 1 I can write that cos of theta so position vector from A to B this is the position vector from A to B I am using this as equation 1 this is equation 1 so position vector from A to B is 1.5 I minus 4 G plus 3 K and divided by its magnitude its magnitude is 5.220 and dot product with the position vector from A to O which is minus 4 j minus 3 k divided by its magnitude which is 5 so this is 5 into 5.220 5 multiplied by 5.220 so this is uh, 1 divided by 26.1 we can write this as 1 divided by 26.1 and the dot product of both of these right so there is no i term this is we can write this as 0 i so 1.5 into 0 then minus 4 into minus 4 so minus 4 into minus 4 and 3 into minus 3 so plus 3 into minus 3 so this is the dot product of both of these position vectors so this will give us this is 0 plus 16 let me write this is 0 this is plus 16 and this is minus 9 so 16 minus 9 is 7 so 7 divided by 26.1 so 7 divided by 26.1 this is 0 0.268 so from this we can write that cos of theta is 0 0.268 and if we take cos inverse then we will be able to find that theta so cos inverse of that answer that is 74.44 so theta equals to 74.44 degrees so the angle between the position vector from a to b and this oa which is the pole axis so that angle is 74.44 degrees now we need to find that phi angle so for that we can use this equation this equation right so now in this equation we need to put cos of phi will be equal to r a c the position vector from a to c so this is the position vector from a to c so the position vector from a to c is minus 2 i minus 4 j plus k divided by its magnitude its magnitude is square root 21 dot product with position vector from a to o that is minus 
फोर जे माइनस थ्री के डिवाइडेड बाई इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड विच इज फाइव सो वी कैन राइट दैट दिस इज वन डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव स्क्वेयर रूट ट्वेंटी वन एंड नाउ इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई बोथ ऑफ दिस इफ यू टेक द डार्ट प्रोडक्ट सो दिस इज माइनस टू अगेन दिस इज जीरो आई सो माइनस टू इंटू जीरो माइनस फोर इंटू माइनस फोर एंड प्लस वन इंटू माइनस थ्री सो दिस इज द डार्ट प्रोडक्ट सो दिस इज माइनस टू इंटू जीरो दिस इज जीरो जीरो दिस इज प्लस सिक्सटीन एंड दिस इज माइनस थ्री सो सिक्सटीन माइनस थ्री इज थर्टीन सो थर्टीन डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टीन डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव स्क्वायर रूट फाइव स्क्वायर रूट ट्वेंटी वन दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स सेवन सो कॉज ऑफ फाइव इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स सेवन and if we take cos inverse that will give us that phi angle so cos inverse of this answer we shift cos inverse of the answer gives us the angle which is 55.43 55.43 degrees so the angle between the position vector from a to c and this uh, pole is 55.43 degrees